Welcome back. Today is our uh, second episode of the, um, uh, des the system design uh, uh, series about designing uh, a key value store. Today we will talk about um, the, um, um, the second propose. We will start on, 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 the, on the next section is propose the high level design. Specifically, we'll talk about the CAT theorem. In the previous episode, we, would, we, we, we asked specific questions. And when we like four questions or like we can add five questions to understand our functional requirements and non-functional requirements so basically we, we could understand the problem if you didn't watch the previous video i highly recommend to watch the previous, previous video however it's uh, just uh, when when we start with 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 any interview any system design interview all the time the 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 the, the questions are pretty vague it's it's not easy to 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 try to just design the based on the question so basically it's quite important for us to at first we start to understand the problem so by understanding the problem we ask maybe like five to ten questions so to to get clarif clarification so we know what specifically our interviewer wants us to design because we don't want to design the wrong things so the f in the first uh, video we we we, des we we ask four questions and we come up with the functional requirements and the, these non-functional requirements and a quite important note that even though if you think that the functional requirements and the functional requirements are pretty good and you just ask all of your questions it's a pretty important it's really really important to ask the, the 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 interviewer about do we need to add more things is this good is is what i'm doing is good is there something that i, I need to add there's some is, uh, is there something that i am missing because Mainly the system design interview. It's about uh, it's it's about the the communication and making a good plan. So um, in the last episode, we we know about the functional requirements and non-functional requirements, and today we will start our episode to talk about uh, to propose a high level design. So um, before talking uh, about the 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 cap theorem, let just what is uh, colors here. So did we do this one? Yeah, uh, no, it's just, um, let's just to change the color and this one, make it white. Okay, so before we, we talk about the cap theorem and why we need the cap theorem, let's just assume that we will start in the single server key store. We will develop a, a, a key value store that basically uh, resides in a single server. is It's it's an easy intuitive to start with. Um, the the store um, um, the store will be uh, stored as like um, let's say the a, a hash table, which keeps everything in in memory, uh, even though the memory is uh, quite uh, uh, pretty fast to access uh, access everything from it, but it's we can fit everything in, in the memory. So we will maybe uh, we can do two things to 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 solve this problem. We can do data compressions and also store uh, the frequently accessed data only in memory, and the other I will store it in disk. Even though with these optimizations, a single server can reach its capacity very easily because we, we say that it's a database, it's a, it's a distributed system. So it's very easily actually to, 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 to reach the capacity by one server, single server. So we need to build a distributed system. And basically when we talk about distributed system or any distributed, uh, distributed system, we should talk about something called a cap theorem. And let's just talk about the cap theorem a lot because today I guess it will be a quite long video. Mm -hmm. So, um, let's me give it a color and I want to make it a big one. And bold. So, um, a distributed system, like a distributed key value store, for the in, in our example here, we have. It's also called the distributed hash table. You can call it that. Which distribute the uh, system? It's important to understand the the cap theorem. What cap theorem means? Um, let's just have uh, the C. Uh, the C is. Um, Uh, 
is it means um, consistency consistency and consistency means um, means uh, all clients see the same data at the same time no matter which node they are connected to this is what consistency means and let's just uh, copy this one and we will see the a let just uh, let's give the a color i to give this a color now it's uh, yeah it will be the availability uh, availability availability and the availability did it run wrong availability okay uh, available maybe like that no I guess it's still wrong okay it doesn't say what should how how can I uh, make it better but just let's assume that uh, it means availability let me just see my 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 phone here Avail uh, ah one minute yeah it's right there it's sorry my english is not that good so i will do a lot of um, mispronunciation um i will say the p is for partition tolerance or partition tolerance partition tolerance so we said that the consistency means uh, uh, all clients see the same data at the same time no matter which node they are connected to Availability means any uh, uh, availability means any clients which request the data gets a request of the node even if some of the nodes are down. The partition tolerance have a partition indicates uh, a communications break between two nodes. Partition uh, the partition is uh, to to partition tolerance is means the system continues to uh, to to work despite. Uh, network partitions um, so let's just say that we have oh, sorry let's just make this one smaller okay and let's just draw what we what we are seeing here okay let's just draw what we're seeing here so let's just get three oh let's say that we have um, okay we have um, a for availability and we have let's just let's just put, put a availability and we have C for consistency uh, put this one here we have C for consistency here and we also will have the partition tolerance And I just add another one. We have the partition tolerance here. It will be for B. Um, so we have the 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 cap theorem basically said that 
um, it's impossible for any distributed system to simultaneously provide more than two of these guaranteed things like we can just get only two we can't provide the three we can just have the consistency availability and the protection tolerance in the same time we can have uh, uh, um, i just add another one here uh, i want to give it another color let's be red we can have uh, uh, it's uh, uh, cp or we can have uh, let's just add another one here uh, cp also this is ep not cp because it's availability ap and also we can have uh ac but i would say that why 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 i didn't type the ac because it's let just yeah let's just look at it like that so let's just talk about the uh, the cp the partition tolerance and the consistency consistency and partition tolerance uh, cp uh, like uh, we have um uh, the key value store supports consistency and the partition tolerance while sacrificing the availability the AP uh, availability and the partition tolerance system, um, um, uh, the, the key store value uh, will support the availability and the partition tolerance while sacrificing the consistency. Uh, consistency and availability, which is AC here, uh, we are seeing, uh, what we are seeing, consistency and availability system, uh, a, CA, a CA key value store supports consistency and availability in the same time while, while sacrificing the partition tolerance. However, network failures is, is uh, unavoidable. We can't avoid network failures. So uh, a distributed system must uh, tolerate a network partition. Therefore, we all the time uh, uh, work with uh, um, a CP and AP because AC is not, it's not a real world application. We, we can't build, we can build it like that. So let's just talk about what is the difference actually between both of them. In a real world distributed system, partition tolerance can be avoided. And when a partition uh, occurs, we must uh, choose between consistency and availability. So let's assume that we have, uh, let's just make this one. I'm going to do this one white and I'll say that uh, let's assume that we have n1 n n1 and I want it to be white white and big and let's assume this we have three nodes more so n1 n2 and n3 and let's say that we have um, they are connected with each other. And let's just end this one again. No, I want a uh, 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 space here. Okay. So let's say that we have these three. Uh, uh, let's assume that we 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 have this this example that in 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 our right now in this in, the, in this in our board so we have three nodes connected to each other and um, and right now let's say that for example oh okay sorry <laughs> all of them have the same name sorry for that let's say uh, this one is in two and this one is um, in three and let's assume that N3 went down. So let's just to get, um, uh, let's assume that N3, N3 went down. And uh, if data is written to N1 or N2, the data uh, connection be propagated so to, to N3. So basically N3 will not know the data that being co uh, uh, copied in N1 and N2. And in the same time, if N3 get any 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 uh, any right operations, they will not N1 and N2 will not be able to know or uh, uh, to know 
the data that are in, in the trees. So physically, our uh, our data is could be stale. So if um, if we choose consistency over availability, for example, we choose right now is um, uh, a CP uh, type of, of of system. If we choose a, a consistency over availability, we must block all write operations to n1 to n1 and n2 uh, to avoid any data inconsistency among these three uh, servers which make the system unavailable for example bank systems uh, usually have extremely high consistency requirements so this is a, per a perfect uh, choice for, for for banks for example however if we choose the the ap the availability over the consistency um, the system keeps accepts reads even though uh, uh, it might return uh, still data for uh, uh, even though it might still for uh, still data basically for for write in one and in two we will still also accept write um, operation and when n3 went uh, went alive again n1 and n2 will send it to n3 the data when n n3 become live again and um, there is no right choice which one is better than one uh, this uh, this specific uh, which 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 uh, which route that we will choose this one's in the interview uh, we we talk about we handle this with 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 the interviewer basically uh, so yeah that's it for today's video and uh, see you in future videos